Up until now, when we've used uh, data values in our programs, we've written them as constant values. So, for example, if I say a is assigned the value 15, 15 is a constant value, it's an int data object, and I'm using the value 15 and I'm placing it in my program as part of this assignment statement. But what if I had a situation where the value of a might be something that would be provided to me by the user? If that were the case, then what I would like to have is a way that on the right hand side of this assignment statement, instead of having the actual value 15, I could have some type of a function that allows me to ask the user what value would you like to use in this assignment statement. And in Python there is such a function, it's called the input function. Now the input function is pretty simple to use. Its name is input and then what it needs to do its work is what we call a prompt. And this prompt is simply a string where we put typically a question or some information about what we would like to have the user enter. So let's go over and take a look at this in active code. Let's say that I wanted to ask the user where they live. So I might say city is assigned to be the value of asking the user to provide input and the question that I'm going to ask is where do you live? Now, when I run this program and execute this assignment statement, what's going to happen is that the right-hand side of the assignment statement is going to be the execution of the input function. When the input function executes, it's going to print out the prompt. It's going to say, where do you live? And it's going to allow me to enter a value. The value that gets entered is now going to be the object on the right hand side of this assignment statement and so in that case city will be a reference to that object. So just to see the value let's print the value of city when we finish. So now if I run this program, if I run this, this uh, code, we'll see that here is a prompt window, where do you live? and I can type in Decora and when I say OK the program continues and the print statement prints out the value Decora. So the assignment statement is still getting a value that it's allowing the variable to refer to but that value is coming now from the user it's not something that I'm providing as the programmer it allows me to run the program and provide different values so if I rerun this program and say, well now I come from Washington, D.C. and say OK, now the value is Washington, D.C. So the program can now run differently depending upon the value that I enter. Now there's one thing that we have to be very, very careful about when we use the input function. The value that is returned by the input function is the string of characters that the user typed in. And it is a string. And we can see that if we print the type of the variable. So let's run the program again. And let's say we live in Decora. And now when we look, we see that when we print city, it prints Decora. But it also prints that the type of the variable is now stir. It's now the string type. Now, that's what we would expect because decora is a word and it's a string of characters and it's, it's a typical word like we've seen uh, other strings. But one thing we have to be careful about is what if we were going to use the input statement not to ask about a city but maybe to ask about how old somebody is. So for example, if I said age input how old are you in this particular case when I perform this statement if I say run and I put in 45 
when I say OK, the value that age is going to be referring to is going to be the string 45. So what we have to be careful about is to realize that the string 45 is not the same as the integer 45. In this case, age would be referring to the string 45. Now that might be okay, but what if I want to do some arithmetic with it? If I want to do some arithmetic, I need to make sure that I have the integer 45, not the string 45. So the typical thing that we might do is to realize that the variable for the input function is going to be the string representation of the age. And once we have that, then the second thing we might do is to say, okay, now the age will be the int function working on the string age. Now what I've just done is to convert the string representation into an integer representation and age is now referring to something that can be uh, used for arithmetic and so on. So it's very important to realize that prompts tell the user what you would like. The input function allows you to type in characters. But if you want that converted to something that's numeric, you have to make sure you do that type conversion yourself.